Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Just relax a sec. Take your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Well, I don't care for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. You'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. <laughs> How'd I do? Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed. See if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by the Baker testing machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Thank you. 
everybody. That's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, when you know your vitals are good, but that don't mean no bullets in the hand, are they? What do you say you hit the speed bump? All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing. Dog. House. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Say that want you I want you to uh I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. How about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Hey, it didn't have the two bears high five it. Okay. I was probably going to give you the sneak option. Tags with the sneak. You can fix that though, you can set it up. I mean, I do want to have a high socket so I can get the computer to show up. And I have it also help you do other things too. And I have a decently high bar.
Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. will take away 10% of the experience you earn, which will make you level up slower, but it'll give you 5 points to, like, um, speech, martyr, and some of the other things. but also take away five points to like anything combat related. So never mind, it won't do the it won't do the five percent or the ten percent. It won't take away ten percent experience, but it'll give you it'll give you five points to every skill that is combat related. Take away five points. Works better, I'm about to destroy a fast shot. Huh? What's better, built to destroy your fast shot? While well, using guns that are fired 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. So there's no point firing faster if you're only if you're missing all the time, you know? Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you. Built to destroy. Um, I think it's where your guns will do more damage, but they'll do great. Where are my shoes? Why this got feet and no shoes? <sighs> I'm a take. I just want to read. Wait, sorry, it will also help you with, um, chemistry sets. And I believe there's one in that house. Should be a chemistry set somewhere in that house. But you made your person kind of strong. Mm -hmm. you, you can carry 210 pounds right off the bat. <laughs> Should have knocked. <laughs> Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. What you trying Felt to it say? was too brazen. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out, but try not.
<laughs> no. <laughs> I barely survived at this game as is. <laughs> Not happening. Remember everything stuck in the test tube. Um. He has pretty good stats. Didn't spend him. DAM is the damage it does, and DPS is damage per second, right? Yep. Mm. Laser pistols is the most per second. Lowest amount of damage. Oh wait, <laughs> no, when I'm no near this. with a G. Karen said your microphone volume is low because it was really fucking loud. That's okay, we can adjust that. I put everything at half volume. Duke. Better? Okay, cool. You're listening to Radio New Vegas, your little June bug. I hope you realize, like, whenever I say, hey, what should I stream? Everyone's like, hello, New Vegas. And I'm like, Mike, don't lend to me. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up at the old bowling machine. So once they run off, I 
I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. Can't say that I'm familiar with you rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not doing well. I moseyed in town, oh, yeah, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Anyway, it's a right piece of... I'm a secure tron. Robco security for Model 26 Brigade. If you've ever seen... Happy trails! So here's what I never understood. Mm. How the workbenches and shit rebuilding them work on security. How the fuck any of this shit works? Um, the same way any of it works in Skyrim? So if I have the skills and, and the equipment, I can craft them. Mm -hmm. Ingredients is still required, okay. The thing is, is I don't know what else to craft. Anything is good to craft, or like some stuff just won't. Well, I mean, yeah, you can you can craft any of those things if you. If, wait, what did you ask? Everything is good to craft, or some stuff's just junk. It just depends on what it is you want to do. Mm -hmm. There's some. Sometimes you can craft weapons. Sometimes you craft um, me medical aid, um, ammo miscellaneous items, um, everything you can use or sell. Oh, no. Explosives. Are energy cells used in... Uh, energy gun, energy weapons. Okay. Like, if you have energy cells right now, you, you're probably using them for lasers. And the reload is like just ammo specific. Huh? Ammo breakdown recipes. Oh, you can break down things into scrap parts for recipes, ammo. The reloading bench. Okay, so the reloading bench, you can break things apart for parts of pieces. I do love the music in this game. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Easy Pete. The one in the fancy suit seems to call in the shit. Word of advice, Pete. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. Was a prospector until I decided to sell the gear to get. Nah, nah. Means I poke for old buildings looking for working tech and such. Way I see it, salvage means a poke near workers. Me, I look for the good stuff. Got... Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. Get me wrong. The NCR got a lot of decent folk in it. Sounds like good springs and trim don't stay in the tenant for long. They're slavers, led by a guy named Stephen. Or a couple of years so ago, the NCR they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR good beat them back. The NCR didn't. The NCR is a faction that is trying to recreate the government as it was before. My money's still on mm. the We've been hearing stories about legionaries so the on the Nevada side of the river. The U.S. government. Mm. For 
as it gets. The dam fires a lot of new vapors, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Mead's been hired mostly. Can't put it. Can find a bunch of wild ones. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it. Keep your gun handy if you. Thanks. Cheyenne's dead. Don't worry, she won't. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay, wait. Wait a second. Oh, that's why I found my quest. Okay, that makes sense. Aaron, damn, you on top of shit. Good for you, girl. Baby, would you ever do a um, Fallout New Vegas campaign? Hell oh yeah, I would. As long as you have this kind of music playing in the background, I'm so fucking down. You, you can be in charge of the music if you want. Bottle protection. Oh, I guess. Nowhere? Why is this computer thing? God, I haven't been on this in so long. Yeah, I just have to figure out how to do that close to my controls. Can you click the trigger? Yeah, you right. Yes, I'm a weirdo. Nope. My aim's so messed up. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Hey. Try crouching down. There you go. Dead. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. There you go. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn Jesus. to fight Sasparilla. She's close. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from all that supply anyway. <laughs> Dumb critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Mm, no, I Keep always yourself. end up dead. Well, I'm good, thanks. Some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Has the town mom. Also, I just saved your dog, lady, so she'd be you're welcome. She'd be ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Can I get on my face, man? Damn. The problem is, you're like, oh yeah, look, you're just kneeling and fucking shoot the enemies and shit like that. Like, here's the problem. When them enemies coming at you, there ain't no kneeling, waiting, and shooting. Damn, I suck. There we go. Pull that dog out of the way. There we go. Okay, cool. Can I holster my weapon? That's a dumb question. Wait. Yes, I can. <laughs> Double tie up. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. I don't want to do that yet. I got scar and PTSD. Hey, Cheyenne. Howdy. Well, you 
been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't... About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an... We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't... Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the... Chang gangs, really. The NPR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. He's holed up at the gas station up the hill. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a <coughs> terrific... Of course, helping Ringo would all... Don't know why you... Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Mm hmm They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. <gasps> Wait, what? Sorry, I was just now checking stream. Chat? Yeah. No, Aaron, you know who it is? It's, um... No, Aaron, it's, it's, um, it's, um... It's Zach, Daniel's friend Zach. The Zach that we actually like. I'm sure I've got Sure. There'd be cap There's always Be careful out there. Zach, all I'm gonna say is if you're gonna come back in the stream, homie, you better like DM me and say what's up because it's been two years. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. <laughs> I'm always thirsty, what you mean? Congratulations. I'm sorry that you and Dan fell out. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some oh my god, I gotta sneeze. I'm scared for everybody. <laughs> You're welcome. So can I get you anything? <laughs> Be careful out there. Oh, 
for the hope we can go deal with powder gamers. Okay. Oh, I should have done the computer thing. Yeah, babe, thoughts of Texas and of home. Yeah, of course I still use Discord and you're more than welcome to rejoin the server, Zach. We love having you. And six viewers? Jeez, I haven't had six viewers in a hot fucking minute. Shit's crazy. Babe, you might have to- I'm gonna try and do it on my own, but if I need help, you might have to help walk me through how to do the fucking computer shit again. Okay. Aaron said, you really up and had a whole quest- side quest without us, huh? <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay, wait. It's in the back room, which is over here. There you go. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember to sneak, because if that's red text, it's going to give you in trouble. I am sneaking. It says hidden, yeah. right? At the top? Yes, yeah, so I'm hidden. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, I can do this. Ah. I think I can do this. I sort of believe in myself. A little bit. <laughs> I need to have my stream playing in the background. Yeah, I'm glad to see you're still alive, homie. So what you're looking for is a passcode? Yeah. However... It's kind of like a puzzle where it's like a guessing game where if you pick one of the one of the words and you happen to be wrong, it'll tell you how many of the letters in that word that you got right. So the first one is like the parentheses thing, right? No, no, no. You don't have you don't need those just yet. You don't need to use your. Uh, well, we'll just call them hacking skills. Yeah, you gotta just try to pick pick one. Three out of seven correct. I don't want to use all my attempts, though. Don't worry, you won't. Now remember... Okay, so, out of lurking, three out of seven is correct, and out of getting, five out of seven is correct. Yeah, see, I learned a different way than that. There you go. You've disengaged the lock. You may be asking, which lock? The one on the floor. It's safe in the floor. What's safe? That one. What floor? There you go. Victor, go the spoils. You've lost karma. Mm -hmm. 
because you stole that. Messaging me and saying when are you gonna do Dragon Age next, and I was like, "Oh, I'll get back on it so soon," because I had like a hyper fixation on Dragon Age because it's so fucking good. That and I just like, it's just it's so good. I have no words. Can you break down weapons or just ammunition? Just ammunition. Aw, oh, boo. So I really don't pick this shit up for nothing. Hey. Glad to see you join the server, Zach. It's been a hot minute. The server's now a community. And your girl's working on her <clears throat> partnership with Twitch. Where am I going? Oh right, she's in the gas station thingy. She followed my map. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I spoke with my dad and he was like, Hey, I, I spoke with the computer people. I think we'll be able to get your monitor fixed. So once that's done, I'll set up um, my PC because it's finished and I just need the monitor. That's close enough. Who are you? What do you want from me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. You got off to a You're kind of cute for an NPC, dude. Start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends kill him. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no... Sinkwada? When... When I first started playing this game, I was not thrilled, because I was like... 
Granted, I was I was only paying half attention when I when the very first time I played this game, I was only playing paying half attention because I was hanging out with my boyfriend. But when I play this on my own, which is usually how video games go for me, I understand them better. I figure it out on my own. Um, when I was playing it on my own, I was so bored just because everything was like walking around and everything. <laughs> so my boyfriend goes, "Hey, you know you have a radio that you can listen to music." It was a complete game changer. I was like. Okay, it's tolerable. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> Start with sunny smiles. So what is sink water? Oh sh shit. I don't have water. I have coffee. Shit. Is that why you have to chug your whole sink? Aaron. Shit. Okay, wait. Pause game. Have to get water. Okay, you couldn't hear it because I had it in hand, but I got a glass of water and I am taking sips of it because I did have a lot of coffee. I remember the first time I found out about the, uh, the sink water was, uh, it was something that my just that my Twitch chat came up with. But I got the idea from Daniel and Daniel was like, I'm gonna have to uh I'm gonna have to raise the price because I'm gonna be floating after the end. <laughs> Say no more. I'm in. Oh Thanks. Joe Crab talks about leaving some land if we hand over Ringo, but I know it's tight. However, between you and me and Ringo, if you could convince Trey to join us, some of the folks at I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could buy. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could... A silver tongue would help. I don't think Gib is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, He'd still make you barter with him. Thanks. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to... I'll be waiting. So we can convince uh, Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk. But I suppose you have to do what you think is right. When you say I love you. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. It's because I'm so cute. <laughs> see if I can't round up some more members of this militia you're creating. Thanks. 
careful out there. Now I need to go talk to what explosives man? An armor man. Hey yo. That easy piece sits on the front fucking board. Squeeze me. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies to spare. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the cash if you ask me. If you're hurt. Mm. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. Don't mistake that for power talk, though. More now just hold on. I never voted to take up. I don't have a high enough partner. Shoot. I can try. You're bringing this on your Nope. Take it easy. Okay, well, we couldn't get a little bit armor that sucks. Let's see if we can convince fucking everybody else. I.E. Doc Mitchell and whatever that guy's name is. Easy Pete. <laughs> Good night, Zach. Platonic love to you too, brother. Hello, am I blind? Eh? Am I blind? Where are you at though? Oh, Doc McStuffin. Yo. Where are you at though? I'm tripping balls or some shit. The doctor doesn't stay in his house? Oh yeah, he does. I am tripping ball. Wow, I don't have any followers. You take care now. On Twitch? You haven't really done a lot of t Twitch streaming, or at least any VOD streaming. That's true. You've done you've done streams before, but like if you look at your channel, none of them save or upload. Whoa. Where's Easy Pete? Stay. Is this a ram? What the fuck is this kind of creature? Young Big Horner. Okay. Easy Pete, you in here, homeboy? I like how I'm <laughs> walking around. <clears throat> Yeah, so he is at Prospector Saloon, but I was just there and he wasn't there. I don't understand. Explain yourself, game. Then again, a lot of these NPCs blend in with their natural surroundings. Yep. I hear you got dynamite. Never mind. Yep. I don't have enough explosives. Bad. Welcome. <laughs> yep. 
War man of many words. <laughs> Jesus. So what should be the third game I should play? I'm gonna do Stardew and Dragon Age. But what should be the other one? Nice hype, nice hype. Good job, good job. Good shit, good shit. Claps all around. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? <coughs> well, I guess that's... All right. I... Time to look alive. Babe, what's the, the third game I should play? They're getting fed up in time. Mm. At least six. You like playing Stardew? Yeah, but that's gonna be the last game I play, so that way it's like a wind down game, you know? Mm. So I'm doing Stardew and Dragon Age. I should take cover, but I never know how that shit works. I mean, I can hide behind shit, but you know, like, as far as it goes. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me anyways. Oh, we're shooting at people? Oops, I didn't mean to hit Cheyenne. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've become villa- oh, by the powder gangers. I thought by the community. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, they like me, cool. Ouch, ouch. Oh wait, is this the, the town? <laughs> yeah, they're fucking killing me. Oh, they turned on you. Why? Remember, vats is a thing. Huh? Oh! You died like an Aeon Flux character. Mm-hmm. You said what is a what, what, what? Um... Vats. Like, I, I don't know what that means. Vats is a thing that, uh... It helps you aim and time stops when you do it. Oh. Yeah. It also helps you land criticals. I haven't done that in a hot minute, so... I'm not quite sure how that works. Remember to shoot the powder gangers, not the, the, the people you're trying to save. Yeah, I didn't mean to shoot them. Shit just kind of happened because the dog got in between me. And oh, then... you shot Diane. Did I? Dang, I killed him quick. No, I'm not. No, not just now. I'm, I was just saying, like, if the, if, if the dog got between me, you probably shot the dog. Yeah. It's so funny, because at an actual firing range, my grandfather was like, Ah, you don't have to kill him as long as you hit him in the knee. RB? Huh? RB. Yeah, but I got nothing to use RB on now. He's, he's behind the, he's behind the saloon. He's behind the saloon. He's, I, I'm so excited. Not that behind, but the other way. Hey, okay, never mind. You try to surprise him? And jump the fence? No? Jump over the fence. I think he dead dead. He's not dead dead. The cursor on your thing is pointing right at him. You have a compass on your on the bottom the bottom left? Yeah. Yeah, see. That He's the around. blinking? That little blinking arrow? 
Yeah. That's where you're supposed to go. I think that's inside. Yeah, probably. Not there, not there. There you go. Aaron, I hope you prepared yourself for some saucy, spicy interactions and some good shit. Yeah, the Xbox symbol just means that I'm switching games. That's all that is. I'm re I'm so ex I haven't played this in so long. So long. <laughs> I'm excited. I decided, hear me out, I decided this time around I'm gonna romance the villain and that's what we're gonna do <laughs> and we're gonna stick with it. And yes, my boyfriend fully supports my appreciation for the male characters in this game. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's been forever since I played this, so I don't know where I last left off. This is like a more PG version of Baldur's Gate. Not PG, but... Mature? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm excited. I'm, excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> 
I'm cool. I'm cool. It's fine. We're fine. It's all right. Okay, so we sent them on some missions last time. Here. And here. So we should always send Let us begin. the ambassador to do the political shit before the fist play and the arrival. This is a task I left with you, select agents knowledgeable regarding dangerous magic. I have just learned some mine. Your soldiers for search. Mmm, let's let Lillian do it. King spot is a cavalier. Give military leader if we want to recruit for ourselves. I say We hold off. We're gonna hold off. We got shit to do. We we got people to go see drama to incur. Time for tasteful, yes, tasteful men and women. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm, I'm gonna introduce you to all of, Mr. all of the characters. Do you have a moment? Did you need something this is happen? Josephine. Yes. She's cool. We like her. She's an ambassador. She does her job well. Where's my hug, damn it? I gave it to you. I'll give you another one here. So basically, humans don't like elves. That's kind of just, they, they don't. The elves are kind of like, you know, they do what they can. Um, not so different from humans. The human towns we traded with ate the same food as the main difference was that they had homes. All my friends there. Before I came to the... I'd like to see them after everything. I hope you get the chance. Whether you're with them or not, being the clan... Erin, I'm going to introduce you to some people that I think are your energy, 100%. Elves have been... This is our chance to be a force of no one. History should look out. I thank you for your time. So she's cool. She is like a possible romance option. There's some that you can't romance, which is like annoying. Let's see. Then there's wait. Then there's Liliana. You can't romance her. But she's just she's cool. She's basically the master assassin slash spy slash badass murdering hobo lost to her own emotions and thoughts and things like that so I'll leave you to your work she's cool 
Um, let's see here. Making our way around town. Squeeze me, game. Stop doing that. Here's the first person that gives me your kind of energy, dude. This is Varric. Also, can't romance him. He's in almost all three games. Sarcastic to the max. Fantastic. Love him. Favorite dwarf. Cherish him forever. Right. Love him, though. He is... He is... Fantastic. He was great in the second game, which was fantastic. So then, here's one of the other romance options. She kind of confuses me. Because Sarah doesn't make a ton of sense. But she, like, she likes to pull pranks on people. Basically, um... She also works for spies, but she works with spies that are kind of lower class, so they're not official spies. It's just like servants and things like, and people like that that have heard something or seen something that are willing to pass it on. And they're called the uh, the friends of Red Jenny. So she is Red Jenny, and then the spies are her friends. I'll be back if I need you. You can romance her, but a lot of times when you romance her, she tries to kill you. Aww. At least once or twice. <laughs> At least once or twice. Um, that's how... It... She's like, how dare you go into the fade and put yourself into danger and then tackles you with a knife at your throat. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is who we're romancing this time around. His name's Solus. He is... <sighs> He's just so good. He's the villain. Spoilers, I know. But, um, basically, he, um, he's kind of one of those people where it's like he doesn't want to care, or like he doesn't let himself care about other people, but then as like the Inquisitor you kind of start to weasel your way into his heart, and then it's just this constant like, I shouldn't be doing this, this is so wrong of me, and he's just like, I really shouldn't, I really shouldn't kiss you. And she goes, okay, well, don't. And then he just pulls her in and kisses her. <laughs> it's like, it's so good. I love it so much. But that's who we're deciding to go with this time around. The other people we've gone with, there's some people, like, okay, so there's some people that you have, you can be male or female and romance them. So like Sarah, you can be male or female, but she prefers female. Uh, Dorian prefers male. And then there's some people that you have to be only male or only female to romance. Because that's just their sexual preferences. So Sarah doesn't really care. Um, I'll show you another person who doesn't care because I think I already hired him. This? Okay, let me tell you. This man was the first one I romanced the first time around. This is when I was freaking out in Discord chat because he was like, I understand you pretty much want to fuck me, but here's the thing. Here is your limitations. My type of people, we go at it hard until some people actually end up dying. And I was like, okay, I'm cool with it. And he was like, all right, picks me up off my feet, pins me against the wall, fades to black. I was just over the moon, bro. Absolutely over the moon. But there's not a really great storyline with the advancement. He's just such a sweetheart, uh, even though he looks like... I mean, he's the type of person that wants to go into battle, fight a dragon, gets horny from fighting a dragon, and then wants to fuck. That's pretty much all he is. 
fantastic. Love him. You can date him, male or female. Doesn't matter. 10 out of 10. Highly would recommend. Um, then, this is Cassandra. Yeah. You have to be a male to, to romance her. She's cool, but she's had a lot of really fucked up shit happen to her, and basically part of her backstory is that she had to have her emotions taken away from her as part of like a ritual to her people and to her class and everything. So she's kind of emotionless a lot of times. Doesn't, doesn't care about anything or anybody, which it's okay, but it kind of sucks. Then I'm gonna show you our favorite softy boy, our favorite golden retriever boy. This is the boy that I romanced the second playthrough and he is the general of the military whatever you want to call it he's fantastic he only romances women um, characters but he has this very tragic backstory where he he very much is the I don't believe I am worthy of love or I don't believe I deserve to be loved or anyone could have the cap capability to love me and then you do and he puts you on a desk and makes love to you and it's beautiful and it's so sweet and he's just a golden retriever absolutely love him prefer the spicier one with the iron bowl but now that i've i've seen some insight into romancing soulless we're gonna see how it goes from there but that's pretty much everybody that you can romance so far that i have um Dorian comes in later, he only romances men, but he will flirt with pretty much anything that walks and breathes. So, we love him too. Um, our favorite half-human boy comes in. Absolutely love him, he breaks my heart so much, I love him so much. You can't romance him because you know he's a child. But he's just, he's such a good kid. And you just, you love him so much. Yeah, girl, talk about that shit. <laughs> God, I love these people so much. I haven't played this game in so long. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. You have like a ton of, um... Oh, there's another person. Shoot, I'm completely forgetting the other guy. I don't know where he's at. Or even if he joined us yet. I think he did. Yeah, so there's another guy I completely forgot about. I don't particularly like his romance. I pretty much watched through all of the romances for this game. I don't like his romance just because of how awkward and forced it feels. Um, it's just like there's there's no sense of like, oh yeah, he should be added to a romance because, you know, whatever, no. This is Blackwell. He's cool, I like his beard, he gives me Farkas from Skyrim vibes, 10 out of 10. The romance for him absolutely sucks. It's just so forced. It's uncomfortable. I don't like it, it's very emotionless, it's very much... Nah, not for it. So, those are all the romance options that you can possibly have. And then this is Krem, our favorite. What can I do for you? Um. Warrior that represents the Chargers. So, there's like, um.
forgot what I was going to say. There's a part later where, like, you can ask the Iron Bullets, like, you know, is it weird that Krem is, is a woman and, and the leader of your champions and your warriors and stuff, and he's like, no, Krem is, you know, Krem is Krem, and however Krem decides to lead is however Krem decides to lead. It's not up to me. It's like, all right, all right. Inclusion. Like to see it. It's one bronze to watch out. The big guy, the iron bowl. Oh my god. The bestie. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you. I talked about him nonstop to my boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, man's really showed up in my bedroom and was like, you are so much in control of everybody's lives that you need to have a safe space where somebody else can be in control of you. Here's your safety word if you ever need to use it. And I was like, oh, shit's gonna get real. 10 out of 10. I love it. I took notes to get the fuck out. Even though I don't, I don't really think I needed the notes, but hey. <laughs> I didn't say you needed to take notes. No, but I'm I'm just I'm saying myself. <laughs> I say, and I didn't. I'm not saying I need to, but I did anyway because I mean, shit. If you like it, you like it. I'm gonna do it. You're very sweet. I appreciate you. So this is also a really cool part of the game. These are tarot cards for each of the party members in the story. Hey, this stream actually like froze for me. Do I have to like refresh or what? Uh, yeah, I would refresh it. Um. Why don't I have a refresh button on my browser? What oh, I would just close out the window and then like you can still be on my page and then I would just tap on the live stream again. Oh, what the hell? What happened? I forgot, I forgot that I had even had this open. So basically, as you do like the personal storylines for each of the characters, their tarot card is going to change based off of the reaction to said storylines. So it's so disheartening to see because the first time I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, this is all completely changed, and it gets progressively darker before it gets lighter, but that's this entire campaign. I myself play a rogue, because that's just who I am, an archer rogue, so I always prefer to have another rogue, a spellcaster, and one of my stronger warriors. Unfortunately, the Iron Bull is not the strongest warrior I have. The strongest warrior I have is Blackwell. But I like the back and forth that Varric... Iron Bull and Solus have because they always make commentary back and forth while we travel. So I like the back and forth between them. And I can always like change out the party whenever I need to. So that's that's pretty much what I do when I travel. I just pick out which ones I like, which ones I don't like. And then I go from there. I always try and whenever I'm romancing one of the characters that's in my tarot card deck. I always try and take them with me on my missions because I'm like, you know, quality bonding time. Why not? Let's go kill shit. Together, babe. <laughs> Just you and me. We'll stare lovingly into each other's eyes while we plunge our weapons into people's faces. You know, it's that solid, it's that solid couple bonding time. Sixteen sixty is one twenty. Yeah. So when I hit one twenty minutes, then it'll be two hours, and I'll switch to a third game. Does anybody need an upgrade? Iron Bull does. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. So just like D and D, just like Baldur's Gate, you have attributes that you have to increase for different characters. So this is Iron Bull. 
So he usually has nothing right now because he just got onboarded. But what I like to do for him is because he uses two-handed weapons a lot, I'll go into two-handed weapon or battle master. It really just depends, but I'll just pick out like a few different things for him and I'll kind of even out the tree, his skill trees at least. So now he's got... So now he's got all of that on deck. And Solus has his stuff. So we're kind of low levels at this point, so we don't have a ton of stuff. But you kind of get there as you level up more. Because I played this game so much the first time around, there's a capability to let things kind of transition over when you need them to. Which is super cool because that means that all of the exotic mounts that I picked up the first playthrough, I was able to carry over into like the second playthrough. So I can run on this and I don't remember how. I'm going the wrong way. Wrong way. Again. <gasps> Maybe I had gone the right way. I just second guessed myself completely. Yeah, I did go the right way. So let's chill the fuck out, dude. So every time you do a quest for the people in the area, you gain approval or disapproval for your party members, and you also gain power, which increases your army and your strength in numbers a later in said game. Don't mind if I do. Sorry, excuse you. So yeah. Nope. So, convince Darnet to provide horses to the Inquisition. Where are we at, though? Back in the house, right? Who has a kind of name like Dornet? Excuse me, Darnet. Those watchtowers will keep my farmers and your refugees a lot safer. I've sent supplies to the crossroads. You've held up your end of our bargain inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with you. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. Farewell. Make her be with you. Yeah, so you can gain other advantages, like having agents that work for you and everything. I'm gonna go spend a little time on that. Okay, babe, go ahead. And uh, I'm going to leave all my phone and stuff. It's all still going to be on, okay? Okay. I love you.
see there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of different quest lines and things like that. Pretty strong stream tonight. I'm pretty proud of everybody. There was at least six people in here, which is the most viewers I've had in like I don't know how long. So you can do quest lines like this where you can just pick up, you can help people, at least the people that need assistance, and you can tell by the little question mark. starting to pick quite a bit of stuff to do. I mean, there's never not quest lines. I think the only part that really kind of um, sucks about the whole game is having to keep track of literally everything. So when you start playing and everything like that, you have your inventory. This is weapons and armor. I shoot with bows. So I can increase my inventory. Make myself stronger based off the weapons that I have. But then I have to go and do that for everybody else. So Iron Bull does two-handed weapons. It's the best two-handed I've got. Solus. Love of my life. Does staves. And he does 28 right now. So this will give him 37 damage. Which is better. Varric keeps to his his crossbow called Bianca. But then you've got to do that for weapons. And armor. So he can only wear medium armor. So he's wearing 50 right now. So this would give him 52. Ooh, get the chest. <laughs> Welcome to stream where Julia <laughs> exposes herself. She probably does a lot of unnecessary shit. Ooh, Griffin Rose. <gasps> so let's look. That just increased your armor class so much, dude. You're welcome, my love. Oh, 
back only. Accessories don't do all that much. Yeah, they don't do all that much. Watch yourself. Bandits up ahead. Something anyway. They're blocking the road. You don't think they're bandits? Stupid, or more than just bandits. Okay, bestie. Thanks for joining. Tonight, get yourself some sleep. You have worked hard. Tell me about the attackers on the road. Several groups. Some of them with bows. They've got better armor than most around here. It's too many for us. You head out there. Careful, you don't get flanked. They don't take prisoners. Thanks for the warning. Love you too, tonight. So chat, feel free to join the Discord. Let me make sure the Discord works. Discord. There you go. Discord link in chat. Feel free to join. I love having people. Suspicious, I think not. Arthas, I know you escaped with the other mages, and I know you'll come here. Father told you that if you ever strayed, he'd put you down himself. If you're here, you know he's dead, but I'm not. I'll be killing apostates and waiting for you at Old Fennec's place to the north. I've got Father's sword and my true brothers and a Templar. Come if you're man or not. Then... What do you see? Worth a look? I think it's sad that two brothers would end up killing themselves. Only T 
Schlinge. Sorry, we need the meat, sheepy. Oh, my toes are freezing. I know this planet is pretty. I'm gonna plug it. Come on, plug it. Leather. That's good. You're Ben Hazrath, huh? The spies of the Kunari. Oh, you've heard of us. I spent some time in Kirkwall. That must have been fun. You could say that.
My phone died. So I can't even watch the Twitch stream chat or anything, which makes me sad. Maybe this will help. It more than help. With this, I can fill these hungry bellies. Give these folks some hope. I didn't think much of the Inquisition. But no one else is helping like you lot. Maybe I was wrong. Sweet. Okay, chat, um, I'm going to pause real quick to mute myself. I'm going to go plug in my phone and grab my laptop so I can still track um, chat and still keep an eye and talk to you guys if you guys talk to me. So we're going to take a temporary pause real quick to...
Okay. We back. We're resetting my computer and everything. Restart. Okay, so back to what we were doing. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This is one of the mounts. I collected from the first playthrough, but I get to have it in the second playthrough, in the third playthrough, because because I got it in the first games transferable like that, which I like. This is what's called a Dracolisk. And sometimes you do have to like Skyrim the shit out of this. No chest. Why no chest? Very sad.
<laughs> so glad. So sorry, chat. Um, I'm really glad to see Zach back. Um, I first met Zach through Daniel, and I've just been super, super fucking worried about him ever since. So, um, I'm just, I'm really glad that he's, I'm not going to say okay, like I know what his mental status is, I'm going to say okay, like he's still breathing, you know, so I'm, I'm really happy for that. I don't think a lot of you guys understand because a lot of you guys were new here and it's okay. I love new people. A lot of my um a lot of my streams. The people that watch my streams. They're called the Nuggy Army. And when you join the Discord, you become a part of something bigger. Than just the Nuggy Army. You become a part of the Club Spike. And every person that's a part of the Club Spike, I feel, is like a, a legit part of my family. I feel like they're either you really spend um, most of your time in the bank as much as is possible. My kid or for those who know my you know. sibling or I don't know how you, you know. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I really feel connected to everybody. On a personal level. So, when I get to, uh, when one of my kids goes missing, I really, I really get worried. And Zach was missing for a really long time. And now he's back. And I'm just very happy. <laughs> Gonna sink some water. Hydration's key. Always. Always. So for Varric, I've been building up this side of the tree. So for me, I'm building up this side of the tree. That way we've got two different types of archers, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so make sure you join the Discord if you can. We love to have new people there. New people, all people. Family. My heart was happy.
anything I should know? I've nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. I'm listening. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Okay, so we've done about two hours in stream. So we're gonna save this game. This game is uh, intense. Pretty much just before warning is. Warning, game is intense. Never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. That's not quite true. That's Somehow how you know a game's intense is when you need a mental health advisor. And when there's warnings at the beginning of it. Darkness changed them. This one's just like it changed her. I put 
that this game wants through, but it's just so good. It's really trippy, but it's so good. Definitely creepy. Go back, go back. It's not safe. Go back, go back, go back, go back. It's not safe. It's there. They're here. Look around and you'll see them. The drought. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger. Cowering over her. He might try and ignore it. there just out of sight where you're most vulnerable it's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see it suffocate You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own, but it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far, far deeper. not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. join us. Maybe you too have a part to play in this story.
because your darkness comes from hell and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Okay, cool. God, I haven't played this in so long. river of knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul. She needs to save her soul. She wants her soul to be left free. She needs to let him to rest. He's already dead. She can save him. There's nothing she can do. She'll never make it. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. 
The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. The bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Anyone creeped out yet? Again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Everyone else laughed. My people pay a heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She was trying to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away.
stresses me out every single time. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. It's not what I wanted. Look at him. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half rotten goddess that rules over Hell. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find it.
what's to come. Come back. It will spread towards her head. Sorry, I uh, my phone died. I had to plug it in. Until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. Yeah, the the dying part was essential. It's just a matter of time. The vision. Have you played this game before? The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. For now, fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Zurt, and the god of illusion, Unraven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. Often say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Better, the Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right. Come. <laughs> Sort. The fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. Oh, and man. Call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, I thought the red was fire. <laughs> She found the wretched old fool and he hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. He was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Follow the path to Valram like her. and defeat him in battle to earn his of mark. His darkness. The gate to Helheim the North cannot. Very cinematic. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. 
of his daughters and granddaughters. Some were monstrous, but others were fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Burry. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. hides the path to Balraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there.
Hoffman will not stop her. Hello, I am the stressed. It's a trick. Illusion magic. Duh. into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world where the forest itself is watching.
if you hear it. Follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. journeyed into the wilds of her native land, living off berries, <laughs> It's not uncommon, you see, to call such a person a gallant. Some like a gallant in search of penance. Others, like Senua, to purge a curse. Those who make it back are forever changed. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. How can she, she get up? It must be magic. No, magic. A trick. Raven. Raven. A trick. Raven. How can she get up? Wait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not. 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 It's not.
not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, and his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars, and to protect the new world from they used Ymir's group of eternal lifeblocks. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Oops. Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. I don't think it was supposed to fall.
last hour we're going to play Stardew Valley. Just a calm and chill. Makes it easy game to spend the night with. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, the game that I decided I was going to end the stream on once I hit 240 minutes, which I'm sitting at 184, because I'm pretty sure 240, I'm pretty sure six times, 60 times 4 is 240. Um, I figured this was, um, Kind of relaxing. Especially after just playing Hellblade. This game always gets me like fucking stressed, man. Dude, Zach, would you be like willing to do me a favor sometime? Not right now. But like would you be willing to do me a favor sometime?
So, you know me, I'm still trying to do my best um, at getting into streaming and all that shit. And um, I'm really starting to get into it more with my computer build being done. Uh, but Erin mentioned something earlier where she was like, hey, if you guys plan to stream together or something, like, uh, Zach's done really, really well for himself and stuff like that, and if you guys stream together, then that might get you some more exposure. Or if he does, like, a raid or something like that, that might give you some more exposure. And I was like, oh, I mean, I'll ask, but I don't want to take advantage of, like, somebody else's success, you know? But I was like, I'll ask and see if, like, he'd be interested, if that was something that he'd be willing to do. Like I said, not tonight. Yeah, get my veggies. Dude, that is dope of you, for real. And you weren't here earlier, but I was like explaining to chat, i.e. myself, but you know, for future intensive purposes. I was explaining to chat, I was like, um, when I met Zach, I met him like a couple of years ago and when he dropped off the face of the planet i was like so stressed and like worried because everybody that watches the stream is a part of the nuggy army and everybody that's on the discord is a part of the subs fam and uh i was like man see like i would think about him and be like man i hope zach's okay like i hope he's still living and breathing and just like you know even if he's not doing okay i hope he's at least safe so like the fact that you came back and was like, hey, yo, what's up? It's been two years. I was like, <laughs> you're alive. I could cry. I used to text Dan to try and get a hold of you and be like, please just, please just call him or text him and ask him if he's okay. Dan would be like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, all right, whatever. Stardew Valley is just so fucking relaxing. I have another farm that I'm way more successful in, but it's a farm that my brother and I share and I don't like doing it without him. I completely understand that, and I'm just glad that you are safe 
and I'm glad that you're home and that you're back. You know, for however long it lasts, I'm just, just glad you're alive, man. Let's not die. Hopefully. Ooh, I can't see shit. What's here? I'm so proud of you. I would hear that song. Okay, I'm gonna try not to tear up and get emotional. Um, I would hear that song and you'd be like the first person I would think of because like as much as I don't really talk to Dan anymore, I still considered you guys to be part of my pack and I would hear that song come over the pack playlist and I would just like it just hit me so hard you know so oh, it's gonna make me a mess I'm glad to hear that you're doing so well and congrats on, you know, the whole marriage thing. I think that's great. I'm glad to hear you're doing so well in streams too. Honestly, I could be a better. I I mean, I can't complain all that much. I am in a wonderful tier relationship with an amazing partner. Um, I graduated college. I'm just struggling to find work and I really want to pursue my dreams of being a successful Twitch streamer. But not even success to like a high degree, just being a bigger Twitch streamer, I would love to do Twitch partnership if I can at some point. Jeez Louise. a ladder, jeez.
is true. It's very true. Sweet. Yeah, and I'm I'm glad to see you found your feet not only in life and in your journey, but in your faith and everything like that. So I'm very, very proud of you, and I'm very, very happy for you, and I'm glad that you're back. And I'm excited for this future journey onward. With all parties involved. <laughs> TBH, Aaron did not remember you at first. Uh, Aaron was like, who is that? And who popped up? And... Is this somebody we should be concerned about? And I said, oh my god, it's, it's Zach. It's because you, w instantly when you said, you know, Daniel Zach, I was like, oh my god, it's Zach. Like, Zach Zach. And she was like, huh? And I was like, it's, it's Zach. She was like, oh my god, it's been so long. <laughs> and I was like, I know. discord server is pretty dead and for so long we tried to myself and my moderators we tried to make it more lively um but pretty much i had to get to a point where i was like look the discord server is only here to support the twitch channel and if more if we have more twitch growth then we'll have more uh, discord growth so village or twitch from someone suggested if I catch one of her streams everything in Hopton <laughs> did you know that it was that it was me well I feel like obviously you knew it was me but like did you know it was me or you were just like was there a moment of oh my god I forgot she existed <laughs> I wouldn't be bad if there was it's been so long Well, I am definitely glad. 
glad to see you, and I'm definitely glad that you're back. And on the server and everything. When you first said, like, you were like, hey, I know it's been two years, uh, it's Zach from Daniel's stream, I was like, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Which I'm sure you heard, I was like, oh my god, it's Zach. <laughs> Yeah, I was so stoked and so excited. Which I already have this this uh, feeling my boyfriend's gonna be like, who's Zach? Because that our relationship happened kind of on the uh, the back end of all of it. Daniel said that one of the reasons why he stopped, like, hanging out, I guess, was because, like, Daniel had told me that he thought you were a habitual liar, and I was like, this is the first time hearing of it. Um... But then there were those instances where, like, you would text me and you would be like, oh, I'm at the hospital. And I'd be panicking and texting Daniel, like, you know, is everything okay? What's going on? And then Daniel would text me back and be like, oh, he's not actually at the hospital. He told me he's here. So, like, I still don't really understand what happened. I do have a fishing pole. See, I thought I didn't have one. But I do. That makes sense. Then I used to be pretty close, and then, um, Sam came along, and like, obviously. Um, we stopped spending time, at, or at least as much time, with stream people, which, like, you know, I understand. And, um, then he and I didn't really talk as much. He and I barely talk anymore. I mean, like, I'm on his server, but we barely speak. 
It's weird that I actually hear from Sam more. Yeah, and yeah, same. I love her though, I think she's sweet. I think there was like a, a miscommunication because like, um, the last I remember of he and I talking, except for when he jumped in the server, well, he like jumped into the chat, um, because he was watching me play Dragon Age when I was just kind of streaming it because I felt like it. But before then, he had kind of like freaked out because I was playing Minecraft with my friends. I was streaming it, and someone from uh, Aaron, who I'd met in Daniel's stream, and Ronnie, who I'd also met in Daniel's stream, they were like, I don't know how to explain it, but we were all playing games together. And I was just like, in a world, I said something like, in a world full of Daniels, be a suppose, or something like that. Which, you know, I wasn't saying to cast shade, I was just saying to like, be funny, it wasn't even meant to be insulting, but I guess it came across as insulting. And the next thing I knew, my phone was being like, blown up from his server, his discord server, where it was like everybody in that discord server was just like berating me completely and I was like, mm, you weren't there, you don't know what happened. So then he reached out to me and was like, you know, it's kind of shitty of you to do yada 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 or whatever. I was like, I'm sorry, I was like, I'm just, I was just kidding, I didn't mean to make it this whole thing, you know. But, like, I apologize, I wasn't trying to shit talk you or talk shade or anything. Okay, cool. I got the ocean. The river. The river? I can't read for shit. TBH, I probably need to have one of those with him, but I also feel like he wouldn't answer any of my messages, because he's like, oh, I'm bad at answering messages, or yada yada, and I'm like, like, if you don't want to talk, don't talk. That's cool. I spent like, I spent so much money with subscription plans to watch his Twitch stream, an ungodly amount of money that I kind of wish I would have saved up, but I also understand supporting uh, small streamers. I, I spent so much money, and you know, I was like, oh yeah, I'm like first in the subscription taskbar or whatever. And then other people came along, like Panda, I think. And then I wasn't first anymore, and then I lost my subscription. So there was like advertisements and shit like that. Um... Yeah, so once that happened, I kind of just stopped showing up to streams. That, um, yeah, that and I was going through some serious shit at the time. I was going through some shit and I 
severely self-isolated. Severely. Um, I pretty much deleted my entire Discord server and just dipped out of existence. And then I was like, I don't... I hate life. <laughs> um... Yeah, so once I dipped out of existence, I was like... Yeah, that's true. Um, afterwards, I pretty much had to start from the ground up. I tried being more active on my Discord server. I tried... Kind of in a really not in not in a great way, but I really tried pushing for more activity on the Discord server, and I kind of like cleaned out the people that weren't active anymore, which is was not cool because that's their safe space too. Um, sweet. Damn. Uh, but then afterwards, there was a really long period of just not really doing anything. And then, um... <laughs> then now I've kind of set the precedence to be... I want to focus on my Twitch streaming. I want to focus on what makes me happy, so... I'm a professional dungeon master. I have the capability to get paid to do that. Trying to do Twitch more professionally as well as um, gaming. And uh, I've kind of been putting more stress on on that. I have I now have like a three stream, three day stream schedule, three days a week for four hours. I'm just trying to do what I can. Um, my partner's been super helpful in, in guiding me back to where I need to be and helping me figure a lot of stuff out. And so I'm, I'm you know, supposed to back to streaming. Gaming, hanging out with friends. Like, I had always wanted to do a stream with you and Dan. For sure. Um, but the one time I did a stream with Dan, he was like, I think he was just uncomfortable, which like I understand. Uh, but like he refused to be in a VC with me, which is really hard to do. Um, it's really hard to do a stream with somebody else and them um, just like not talk or do anything. But it is what it is. That is all the past now, and we are all in the present. Are we all trying to be in the present, at least? Tonight's been a pretty decent night, though. Um, because I've pretty much had an influx of like six which I haven't had in a while I had six earlier six or seven earlier which I haven't had in a while and then it's been like between you and my partner and other people popping in it's been like three or four now it's five <laughs> so it's it's been a pretty good fluctuation tonight 
It always gets better. Just gotta keep on pushing. I'm not gonna say the generic. It'll be okay. But I know you can do it. I know. I I really appreciate you saying that. Um. I think I've also like. I have also brought back the pack server. Um. If you want to be a part of that as well, because I sincerely consider you still to be a part of the pack. And I think once I did that, I was like, okay, I now have my group of people that I know without a shadow of a doubt are gonna be there for me. So I really, I really just, you know, I think it's really important to not just solely rely on one person because that can be such a heavy burden for them. I think it's super, super important to have a structure of of people that you can rely on. Um, let me do... Okay, thank you. Let me do this real quick for all the newcomers who aren't... Oh, I failed. I messed it up. There we go. For all the newcomers, there's a link in chat to join the Discord. Feel free to join Subs Family Discord. It's a really fun place with a lot of great people. I would have started streaming a lot sooner, but streaming with him when he started, I honestly thought I wasn't going to have to be a streamer. After the time he actually started, it was like, I don't need to be like anyone else. Doing on streams. Yeah, we'd love to have you. For sure. Once I hop off stream, I'll send you... Yeah. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> I knew that. Now what's in my way? Can't can't get rid of it with an axe. I was doing something. Um, so my goal is to stream on PC. The PC has completely been built thanks to the help of my uncle and my friend Gabe who helped me set it all up correctly. Um, my only problem right now that I'm having is I don't have a monitor. So I really don't have Like, I, I have no way to, to visually stream on the PC. I have everything else that I need. I just don't have a monitor. So I think that's my next, my next goal is to get myself a monitor because my other monitor broke. So to either get it fixed or get myself a monitor. Um, Yeah, somebody told, also welcome to, uh, welcome to stream. Somebody told me, they said Black Friday deals. Go to Black Friday deals, like, that's gonna be where, where streams are, you know. Not streams. <laughs> where monitors are gonna be cheaper. And, um, yeah, I'm streaming on Xbox right now. I'm on Xbox One, but my sister also has an Xbox X Siri, Series S. Not Series X, Series S, um, that she doesn't really use, and so I kind of stream off of that as well. But someone was like, "Oh yeah, for a hundred bucks, like you could get a new monitor on Black Friday," and I'm like, "I don't have a job. My only job right now is Twitch. Like literally, until I can find some work, because it's been a struggle bus for sure." Um, Yeah, I just, I don't have money for it, so any and everything that I make on Twitch, I have been in the process of trying to, I'm trying to make money on Twitch so I can save up to do things for Twitch and to be able to do things for myself because I can't, um, as much as I would like to, I can't, so just been doing what I can to save up and 
Um, and eventually whatever I make on Twitch is gonna go into either buying myself a new monitor or fixing my old curved monitor. So yep. But I definitely appreciate the suggestion. And also feel free to join our Discord server. I know you just entered and you're like, I don't know who this person is. But I promise you, it's nothing but family vibes. Uh, yeah, for sure. Because I have D&D &D on Wednesday nights, and I DM on Wednesday nights, a lot of my streaming nights have turned to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday? Because I still try and do server events. so like so sad because because I just bought Baldur's Gate and I have nothing to play it on I bought it for PC I have it on Steam and I have yet to play any of it and I wanted to play it so bad so for sure that's probably gonna be one of the first things I stream I'm gonna be really behind on Yeah. If you played it, you're very lucky. <laughs> I want to play it, but I can't. You're telling me to drink water in the middle of me fighting something right now? That's sus. That's sus. That's a high key. Sus. But I drank water anyways. Because must obey chat at all times. Yeah, no, for sure. <gasps> Zach, you know what I would love to do? Oh my god, I just thought of a game that we could play. I would love to do We Were Here, the We Were Here series, like the most recent one. Oh my god. I would love to do that. I think it would be so chaotic and so hectic, but it would be so much fun. I also stream late, pretty late at nighttime, because I checked out the, um, I checked out the stats and stuff like that for when Twitch is most active or has like the least amount of competition and stuff like that. <gasps> no. And it was like, oh, um, Twitch is most active between midnight and 4 a.m. And I was like, yeesh. But I, let me get that monster sponsorship and I'll be right there with you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a free game. I'm pretty sure. Or if it's not free, it's relatively cheap. But it's pretty much like a puzzle survival game. And it's so hectic. It's so chaotic. I've watched Grizzy and... I forgot who Grizzy did it with. I think it was Pezzy. Grizzy and Pezzy do it together, and it was I was on the floor laughing, and it was so much fun. I haven't played it. Mm-hmm. 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 It's a fun game. And yeah, that's fair. It has been hours since the last one, so... Fair is fair. Mm. 
My boyfriend and I finished playing It Takes Two, and oh my god, what a great game. It was so good. I loved it so much, it made me so sad when it was over. I was like, no. It was a journey, for sure. So many times I died. He was just standing there being so patient and I was like, alright, I'm dead. A lot of lies of P. I don't know what that is, but dope. I've also been told I need to play Hollow Knight. A lot. I've been told a lot that I need to play Hollow Knight. I'll get to it one of these days. <laughs> the flower dance? I never have a partner to a flower dance. Why? Because I show up and nobody wants to dance with me. It's like that one kid that gets chosen last for dodgeball. They're like, I mean, I guess if I have to choose you and you're like, then fuck you. Oh, I'm in toy pole. Cult of the Lamb is a solid indie. One Piece is getting so good. My boyfriend and I have been watching One Piece, the live action, because, let's be real, One Piece, the anime, the art style, is bullshit. But I've been trying to get into some anime, just because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> It's not true. I watch a lot of Critical Role and all that shit. I thought Fifth Gear was so dumb, but I grow me. You're crazy for that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a second chest here in a second. I've been trying to convince him to play. Stardew Valley with me because I feel like I mean it's not his kind of game but I feel like it would be fun. It's always more fun to play with two people than it is with one people. But it's not his kind of game which I understand because he convince, convinces me to play Fallout New Vegas and I do play Fallout New Vegas. So really maybe he should play Stardew Valley. <laughs> No one got time. 900 episodes of friendship slash power of anime. <laughs> I'm like at 650, I think maybe 700, 630. I correct myself. Dude, I'm gonna always stand by the fact that I genuinely believe that Fairy Tale is the best anime I've ever watched. It was the first anime I've ever watched, so it will always have a special place in my heart. And relatively anything Studio Ghibli related. But I really also liked Noblesse which I watched with my sister, which I really wish they would have done more of. And I'm telling you, you could play Stardew Valley, like, fucking modded. I mean, I couldn't play with you unless we played on Switch, but you could play it modded. <laughs> you, Alex, Alex really likes to play because he'll go mining and he'll just fight all the monsters and I'll be back at the farm like making food so he doesn't fucking die. Not playing with you would defeat the purpose. Blue Exorcist in my opinion. I've heard a lot about Blue Exorcist. I've heard a decent and good bit about Blue Exorcist. It's good. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Well you can play on Switch. I don't go to the mine particularly a lot because I die 
a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of monsters that get it's really hard. And the more monsters you fight, the harder it gets. So I feel like if you went like mine delving and took care of the monsters and got all the ore and shit like that, kind of like we do in Minecraft, I feel like it'd be okay with it. I kind of just wander. I really just try and work on the community center as much as possible, but I wander way too much. Okay, can't do anything there. Or there. I could fish. <gasps> Why haven't I done that yet? I've got a copper bar. I love one piece so much. Hello, this is how we do, that is how we do in Minecraft. I play a One Piece gotcha game on my phone that I spend a hundred dollars every day just to have my dragon crew. Dude, I could, I could not spend a hundred dollars. Bro, your gambling is gonna get to you. I couldn't spend $100 on a game. I mean, I barely spent $60 on Baldur's Gate 3. Also, like Minecraft Stardew Valley is one of those games that you have to set a goal for yourself. Because there is an end to the game, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But there is like a perfection score and you have to reach the perfection score. You say that, but it doesn't compare to how much me and Daniel have spent on Apex. Oh, I'm sure. I can't really get into Apex Legends. I feel like people are too much on it. I also have a geode. I'm so stupid. I haven't been paying attention to this. I feel like there's a lot of really BM players on there, and I just... I have not built up the tolerance for BM players yet. I don't want to play Knockout City. I think it's really cute. It's a really cute game and I think it's kind of funny. Aww. Cute. Gabe, I know you're still here, or if you are still here, you should really join the Discord server. You should do it. Good night, enjoy church. Join the Discord server. Not you. I didn't say babe. I said Gabe. <laughs> good night, Zach. Thanks for joining. It was really good hearing from you. I've only got five minutes of stream left anyways. Yeah, Gabe, you said another time, another time. <laughs> this is the second time you said another time. So you know what? I will leave it. 
I will leave it. I know where I am wanted. I know where I am not wanted. You don't have to be social. I just meant that you could join. There's people that joined and then sit on there and watch it die because they never talk or do anything. Damn, this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to. At least appreciate you showing up to my Twitch streams. Well, this is your first time in the Twitch stream, so I appreciate you showing up for it. Especially when I said I was playing Hellblade, which I was. You just popped in at the very last minute, <laughs> and I was no longer playing Hellblade. Yeah, so my goal is to try and professionally DM and professionally do Twitch until I can find some sort of job. Because God knows I need money. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna not stress about it. Oh my god, now you sound like my mom. She's like, I can't watch you, I get motion sick. But you know what, Stardew Valley is the one thing she can watch because I think it's like the perspective because it's kind of 2D in a way. I don't have a job. Oh, you said you'll get a job. I thought you said you have a job. I was like, I don't have a job. No, but this is what I'm passionate about, and when I first went to college, I wanted to be a video game designer. Not like graphic-wise, I just wanted to, I wanted to either voice act or be a part of video games. I just wanted to play video games for the rest of my life. <laughs> and so I thought about doing beta testing shit. Yeah. That's all I really wanted. That's why I studied Japanese in high school and such. I wanted to do storylines since I was slash am a forever DM. It just didn't work out that way though. Wait, 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 wait. You're a DM and I'm just now finding out about this? You don't have a D and D group. Damn, for like eighteen years. Damn, damn. Close to twenty. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. Not me. Couldn't be me. I've only been a DM for like a year now, roughly. Um,
Yeah, I've only been a, a DM for about a year now. But I've I've been in this one campaign for almost a full year and I've just been a I like it. I've got like eleven more campaigns <laughs> I have planned out for the next eleven years. So I'm gonna be a DM for a while. I didn't know you were a DM. 3.5. Never did fourth because it was awful, and now fifth edition is amazing. It streamlines so much better for players and DMs. Yeah. So my dad played Greyhawk when he was in high school, and they did all old-fashioned shit. So one of the campaigns I'm doing is Greyhawk, but um, I started playing because my boyfriend DM'd a game. Welcome back. Um, so my boyfriend DM'd a game. And being a storyteller myself, I really just wanted to kind of do my own thing. So I started world building, eventually came up with a storyline, and a year later, here I am, almost finished with my first campaign. <laughs> Eleven campaigns left to go. Um... But, yeah. But, so, I started doing that, and my dad's been, like, super stoked. My uncle plays with us. We have this whole family kind of campaign that we have going on. But I don't get to play a lot, so my boyfriend gets to DM for me. Um, that's actually a really good question. So, I'm gonna stop playing... Stardew, you saw, and it's pretty much like if you were to take the world, put it into like a globe format, like our kind of Earth format, North America area in Canada would be Exandria, which is Matt Mercer's world, and I use a lot of his history of how the world was created type stuff. Um, then Greenland would be Greyhawk. Greyhawk area, uh, and then, like, China and Russia and all over, um, you know, Europe and all of that stuff, that would be Faerun, and then Usal would be, like, south of the border, anything south of the border, um, so, I homebrewed the fate of us all pretty much by collectively piecing together everything. All of the worlds. All the gods exist. Everything. And then I... I did it like... I kind of did it like that, and then I just, you know, have been world-building the world for like a fucking year. And I'm still doing it because it's still not done. I've got like 350 locations left to build. <laughs> and every time I'm on call with my boyfriend, I'm like, just world building. But I definitely like Matt Mercer's version of how the world was created. I don't really use Tal'Dorei or Exandria, but I like how he explains that there was you know, chaos, and then there was the gods and the prime deities and the titans, and then there was the schism and then the cataclysm and then the di divergence and the post-divergence. So I kind of like how that history is set up and I use that for a lot of what I depend on.
Something that was not supposed to be a video game streaming night. It was supposed to be a sit and talk night. But it is. Oh, what it is. Don't tell me what to do. More healing draft for you if you come on. Thank you. Thank you, Cullen. You helpful golden retriever. Damn, we really got nothing for the military to do. Maybe we'll help him just pick up gold. All right. ID. I'm gonna save, and then I think I'm done with stream for the night. Fucking tired. But it's been like, like a good stream. I had six or seven people earlier. And that's the most I've had in fucking months. And then it's been a steady, like, it's been a steady fluctuation between three or four people. So, I'm okay with that. So I think I'm going to end the stream. But thank you for showing up, for coming out. And next stream is going to be... Uh, Tuesday at 8 o'clock. I don't know. My stream schedule is on the Discord server. So. Uh, Tuesday at 8. And I usually stream for about 4 hours every stream. So, Thanks for stopping by. Discord link is on the channel if you want to join. It was a ton of fun. I had fun. It's been good. And as I always say... Enjoy life? No. <laughs> God, I haven't done a, an outro in so long, I forgot what I usually say. I say something like... Live well, love, and peace. Some shit like that. I'll figure it out. 